This is Jeff again with the Valhalla Ventures, reguideservice.com, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-S-E-R-D-S-E.com, and um, driving and running some last minute errands. It's very chilly outside. It's a good time to remind you to wrap your pipes, right, or something. I don't think that uh, that's really that important here to wrap your pipes, but it is a good time to remind you that your furnace for your heater, if it's electric, probably uses as much electricity as your air conditioning. So don't think, oh yay, I'm getting a break from my air conditioning by kicking on my AC, because if you have an electric uh, heater, your furnace is going to be using it out of power. And so I thought I'd give you a little hint. You can go out to your meter, and it depends if it's a digital meter or if it is a, uh, uh, what is that called? Mechanical, you know, actually spinning spins. Um, you can check it both ways. The, the digital spinning spin is a little different because it's just like a tick, 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 tick across the front of it, and you basically just have to count because there's not, it's, it's a little more difficult, but you can do it find out what your power usage is on each of these things and it'll remind you how important it is to keep the air you have in your house in your house through good quality insulation through good vapor barriers through that kind of stuff not only for your own personal home but again these types of, of things that you can do to maintain the air inside of your home inside of your business whatever it is if, if you're trying to main, maintain long-term ownership and, and lessen your maintenance, you're going to want uh, you're going to want to control not only the humidity but the temperature. You know, uh, a lot of the products that are made for indoors aren't made to be exposed to not only the the direct weather itself and like rain, sleet, snow, um, but it's not really made to be. Uh, it's not really made to be exposed to extreme heat or extreme cold. Definitely not made to be uh, exposed to extreme humidity. If you have uh, wooden floors, you've uh, and you've ever like are real wood laminate doesn't matter. You ever go out of town and leave those floors with no air conditioning, no good airflow, and a way for humidity to build up? You're gonna find real quick that humidity is not your not your friend. So. Anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, don't think that just because, you know, it's the uh, winter time and it's colder out that you can crank down that heater or crank up that heater and it's going to be uh, more affordable or whatever because it's not. Um, sorry, bad news. Also, check your furnace, get them cleaned. It doesn't cost that much. If you have rental properties, I think that that's something that you should be paying for um, just to benefit yourself. Even, you know, if you can't really make them pay, your tenant pay for it. You can, I guess. If you want to, I wouldn't. But anyway, have your furnace clean, have your ductwork clean, make sure they're clean, you know, changing out your filter every month, that kind of stuff. Um, but just, you know, the, the more you can uh, control pricing and cost for yourself and for your tenants, the better chance of your tenants and yourself actually maintaining an air temperature and quality inside of your home that will make it so that you can benefit you know, not just not just the drywall and the flooring and paint and everything else that is affected by that, but also your furniture and photographs and, you know, things that have value to you um, goes beyond that. Anyway, that's it. That's my uh, little tip of the day. I will talk at you later. Be blessed. Bless others. Oh, yeah. Uh, my website, uh, you know what it is. It's at the beginning. Valhalla Ventures. Dot com or you got service.com R E I G U I D E S E R V E S I don't know what it is. I'm always gonna have a problem with that. I have dyslexia, so saying things out loud fast isn't my thing. Alright, have a good day. Bye.